It's been since his win against Deontay Wilder the other year, but Tyson Fury has supposedly been in talks to fight Alexander Usyk. For quite a while now, Tyson Fury has surprisingly been labeled scared as talks between him and Usyk's team have heightened. But come on, is the heavyweight champion really that scared of Alexander Usyk? I mean, he beat Deontay Wilder for God's sake, twice. He also resurrected himself in the ring during their first bout, so it seems like there's nothing Fury can't do. However, it seems like many people on either side of things are wondering when Fury is actually going to fight Usyk. This battle between the two for an undisputed heavyweight title is going to be insane and should bring in big bucks for companies like Sky Sports here in the UK. It's going to be massive. And it looked like we were actually going to get the fight not too long ago. It appeared that the two rivals were actually close to an agreement as Usyk accepted Fury's insane offer of a 70-30 split. But I guess things it changed. I accept your offer. 70 30 split to fight with you on April. You will pay 1% from your poorest to Ukrainian people. You will promise to donate to Ukrainian immediately after the fight. As the saga took another interesting twist, Fury recently insisted that there was actually going to be no rematch whatsoever, even if the result didn't go in his favor. I've been speaking to the lawyers today, and Usyk's people are talking about rematch clauses and all that bollocks. April 29th, no rematch clause. The winner takes the glory, the loser goes home. This either shows how confident Fury is that he's going to win, or how scared he is about fighting him, possibly for a second time. It's such a weird one. So let's discuss and question if Tyson Fury is actually scared of Alexander Usyk. Rematch clauses are very common in the world of boxing, especially when a high-profile fight is in negotiations. Fighters are trying to secure an immediate shot if they aren't successful during their first fight, and it's there for great reason. It brings in so much money, as if a rematch is guaranteed, then they know that more pay-per-views are going to come in. Just look at the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight. A rematch was always on the cards during the original match. People knew going into the fight that no matter the result, they were going to be getting another entertaining match. And that's exactly what happened. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, of course, drew in their first fight, leading to the insane rematch where Tyson Fury became victorious. There he goes. punch right there. I've done it. Where he wins. Right hand from Tyson Fury. He may have shattered his eardrum, Christina, with that right hand. King Tyson Fury. We then, of course, saw a third fight when Tyson Fury proved to the world once again that he was the undisputed heavyweight title champion. I mean, come on, that fight was absolutely beautiful to watch, wasn't it? But the thing is, Fury hasn't fought since, and his match against Alexander Usyk is going to be even bigger than his against Wilder. Unlike his match with Wilder, though, Fury has been met with continued positivity from Usyk and his team, no matter what their demand is. Usyk is definitely up for the fight and will do anything to to get in the ring with Fury. But on the other hand, Fury is convinced that the fight isn't going to happen. Usyk's team said that Tyson Fury was trying to find a way to pull out. Usyk's team did an interview to speak on the whole situation. It's all about nothing, his manager said. Fury just isn't prepared. According to Usyk's team, Fury is still scared to fight and will try to find any way possible to avoid Usyk as long as it's legal. Where's Alexander Usyk, the rabbit? Hey, rabbit! what we want to see now. I think, I think that's a fight we should make happen now. Well, let's ask the big man. You are next. Me and you, so connect. Me and you. you get they do not trust him at all, as when they started negotiations, Fury's side was the first to ask for a rematch clause. I guess it shows that they don't have trust in him, right? Well, it could be also seen the other way. Fury is such a high-profile fighter, and he definitely rakes in millions each and every time he enters the ring. His sponsors, his team, and of course Fury himself wants another match in place just for the money. Now, we know that Fury isn't in boxing just for the money, but it obviously helps. He's such a huge 
cage fighter, so having another fight guaranteed just secures a bag once again. Usyk's team wrapped up their interview by saying that they don't believe anyone is going to fight. They either accept it now, or Fury is going to try to find a way to get out once again. They said his credibility has been shot to pieces, and it's just not serious at all between the two teams. Fury definitely seems up for the fight in person, though, as he's appeared in front of Usyk on many occasions. He seems very aggressive in front of him, and he's just egging him on for a match. But maybe Fury is scared, or maybe something else is going on behind the scenes entirely. There could be so much going on that we don't know about, and it's really interesting to speculate on. Supposedly, the fight was originally set for April the 29th, but Usyk's team have said they don't feel it's going to happen. I mean, there's been no marketing for it, really, apart from a few posts on social media about it possibly happening. It's such a weird situation, as surely this fight, if it was going to happen, would be literally everywhere. Look at Anthony Joshua's next fight. That's advertised on basically anything. Whether you're on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, it's literally everywhere. Fury is even bigger than Anthony Joshua, so the fact that his next fight isn't being advertised probably means it's not going to happen. The Gypsy King might actually be scared, but I guess we'll never really know. Even if the fight does go down next month, Fury could just completely change his mind and still have been scared in the past. There have been so many disputes around this match, and it's really weird to see. We know that Usyk's team is down for basically anything, as they just want to prove that their fighter can beat Tyson Fury. However, despite the constant money changes from 60-40 to 70-30, which Usyk still accepted, by the way, Fury hasn't accepted the fight. It also doesn't help that Fury is still landing insults toward Usyk, even with Fury not accepting a full match. We are really confused right now, as Tyson Fury's status should be something he wants to uphold no matter what. The fact that he's holding on to negotiations for so long, and the fact that they've got so messy, really doesn't paint a good picture, does it? Why is there so much back and forth? Fury must be scared. That's the only way around it. And honestly, we don't want to believe it, as Fury is a phenomenal man and a phenomenal fighter. He might have had a lot of controversy throughout his time, but all of the things he's been through and how he's proved himself to the world are downright phenomenal. We trust that Fury will give a good performance in the ring, but maybe he doesn't believe that himself. Maybe he's on a path that he doesn't want to discuss. Or maybe he's about to retire. I guess we won't know until someone officially says something. The rematch clause that was brought into the fighters completely changed things up, as it proves to the world that Fury doesn't completely trust himself. If there was a rematch clause, then we know that Fury might trust himself a little bit in order to beat Usyk a second time. But the fact that there isn't going to be a second match just shows that Fury might not have 100% faith in himself and his team. We are still completely confused about this situation. But from the information we have, it does look like Fury is scared of Usyk. But what do you think? Please let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video.